Hey guys, what's up? Shana Bear here, and episode two of Batman Telltale series is here. Let's do this. Rawr. <laughs> A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Always oh, on the right side, Budgie. Mr. You. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Yes. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Right. Hey, Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. <laughs> Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? No. His eyes, though. Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? I'm gonna get you. It's dangerous. Rawr. I bet. <laughs> this is Selena. I love it. I can't wait. Oh my god. Okay, this was horrible. This was not cool. I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? Won't be you the money. It's the Waynes. You're a liar, though. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. See, he's so not happy. Look at his face. He'll tell us what's up. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's he'll he'll explain what's going on. It's just, you know. It is what it is. Tailored by how you play. Which I dig. I'm so into these game series right now. Like I want to start the uh Wolf Among Us again too. Super cool. Such a good game. Where are we going? You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Hmm. Crime Alley. <laughs> Could we name it that? Because that's sad. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. Yeah, tell us, please. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises it's just not possible that kind of money taints you my money has never corrupted me and i'm proud of you but you're hardly the norm hill greased the wheels of politics falcone was the muscle thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You I'm more concerned Gotham, about... And you never let on. Yeah. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know, I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. That's sad. But then... They were killed, and you were all alone. 
And I just couldn't walk out the door. Aww. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. I can. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Yeah. Thank you. I won't let you down again. It's Alfred. You can't be mad at him. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. Wow. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Baby. Yet, there it was. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. But he didn't. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. Well, the story got thicker, deeper. I can recall deeper. every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Really? We're gonna investigate this? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. We're remembering the past. Standing here okay. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? Hmm. The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Very Why true. Why did you just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Dang. I hate looking at graffiti. Let's do it. Yay, more interesting graffiti then. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't mm -hmm. picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Ah. I only see one, but I feel like maybe I walked past one. There's Alfred. I guess we could talk to him. No, they they show the circles pretty clear. I just wanted to make sure. What would Alfred have to say? Think back to that night, as hard as it might be to do so. countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. Wow. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Aww. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Nothing. Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? I, I want to know. Sorry. Oh! Oh, weird. Stay back. Take whatever you want. Nothing personal. Just business. He told me you had it coming. Oh. You 
Don't have to do this. Yep. There's range. Oh. Help oh, Bokomi. He's making a mistake. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, right in the eyeball. gonna go at him as Batman or as Bruce it's like I don't know what would be the better option I think as Bruce just confronting him you know just being like hey dude what the flip <laughs> like can I just know why like I don't know oh <sighs> I guess it's Batman you could just kind of I feel like he'd lie to Batman though you know although he could lie to Bruce too but I just, I just think it'd be better as Bruce. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could so land good. us as both Bruce. in That's hot good. water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. You don't want to know. Trust me, you don't want to know. No, no, I do. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answers to. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eddie. It's better this way. I don't want to just Fine. blurt it out, don't you know? Tell me. I just don't think that I would be the right way. Comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. You know it. And the rules whenever you need it. I realize this is irregular. Lieutenant. I wouldn't ask if there was another way. I'm vouching for him, Gordon. Trust me, he's one of the good guys. Yeah. A good guy who always gets what they want. Now, in my book, there's no such thing. What a jerk. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say... You know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Sergeant. Good. I'm glad they know We're him. Keeping Falcone in know? the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. Yeah. And he cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Yeah, positive. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Here we go. Okay. I got to play this right. I want to get all the info I need. Oh man. Oh, this isn't Children of Arkham. It's not like super sterile looking, you know? Hello. Bruce Wayne. Hi. What's up? How you doing? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Oh, that's kind of sad. 
Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. Let's we let need talk. to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got the teeth this is about. You. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Oh, More let's do it. Let's just call him out. Let's do it. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I feel that I way. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Spell it out. I want to hear it. full of birthday presents I was never <laughs> able to give you. Convince me then. Tell me, Tell a, me story a story. Tell me a story. Let's do it. happy family. <laughs> There it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I don't know if that's morphine, though. What if it's something that's going to kill him and we just get in trouble over it? Oh, good. It doesn't have to make me choose. It's just going to go through it. Oh, okay. So it just flat out says it's not like murderize him or not murderize him. So we're going to ease his pain, I think. Yeah. I just don't think that's cool to let some... I don't care. You know? Sorry. I, I have to. <laughs> 40 years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. This is your like father so may weird. Have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? I don't know. Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. I kind of so believe him. Did? I don't know. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. <laughs> What the frick? I'm waiting for you in hell. Ah, no. Oh. Okay. The bastard had to die. Hands in the air. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one That's can That's freaking her horrible. Go. Go. He had like, he's like the no. There's like a crime ring. Somebody has to be able to tell him everything. That's fudging horrible. What the frick? I think we're gonna cut it off there. We're definitely gonna continue. Oh my god. Okay. So much love. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. I love you guys.